Hello and welcome back. So today we're actually going to start looking at Microsoft Word. Um, you know, so we're going to do a brief little introduction today with it. Nothing too um, advanced at the moment, and we will be, you know, picking up and doing more advanced features with it as well. But today it's just going to be a quick little introduction, just to get you familiarized with the layout and how Microsoft Word looks and the feel. And we are going to be looking at the new version of Microsoft Office. So you know. If you're using an older version or you know if you're using um, a Mac it might look a little different so keep that in mind I'm using a Windows based system here and I'm gonna be using the latest version of office so you know let's get into it so I'm first going to show you guys you know we all probably have done this before many of times launching you know Microsoft Word but I'm going to quickly um, launch it so we're going to jump to my laptop and we'll we'll start off so I'm going to, you know, I'm using Windows 8 um, and I have a plug-in to give me a start bar. But, you know, you could go to your, your all programs and you want to look for your Microsoft Office folder. And you can expand on that by clicking it. And then we can look for Microsoft Word, which is down at the bottom. And then we can launch this. And this is our initial screen that we actually get to see. And notice it does give you an area for your recent documents. And as well, you can open other Office documents um, as well. And next, we even have different templates that you can use that kind of help you, guide you along your way and everything. Mostly, we're going to be using um, you know, the blank document, the standard one um, you know, within this course and everything. So, you know, I'm going to select the blank document, and we will then, um, I'll start showing you different features within Microsoft Word. So let's jump back into my laptop, and I'll select the blank document. So I'm just going to double click it, and notice it just opens up a blank page. And the design, it's changed within every iteration, but within Microsoft Office, we have, it's called the ribbon. And within the ribbon, we have these different tabs. So you can see you have your home, you have insert, design, page layout, and so forth. And notice that each tab has different options and everything. So you got to get a little familiarized with them. Um, you know, it's tough to remember where everything is because there are so many options. So don't get frustrated if you can't find something. Just take your time, you know, look and, um, you know, just be patient. There are so many configurations and features within Microsoft Word that, you know, it might take a little bit to get used to it. Um, so, you know, just be patient and, you know, just look for it. And if all if you can't find it, just Google for it. And usually you'll find um, a website or even on Microsoft.com that provides you with that information of that tool that you're looking for. So I'm just going to quickly introduce you to um, a couple different features within Microsoft Word. So let's get back into it. So again, this is your ribbon, and the tabs are your options at the top. Today we're going to be looking at the Home tab. And the Home tab has a lot of like your, your styling, you can change your fonts, um, and everything as well. So let me get out of the header, um, which you will be introduced into. Um, in one of the upcoming sessions. But you can see, you can just start, you can start typing. And you know, we have a default font that's set up. And you might want to be able to change this as well. And to do that, you know, you can highlight the text. Um, and I like to just click on it. Um, another way you can just click and then drag and it will highlight everything. And then notice you do get this little window that appears, and you can change your font here if you wish. So we'll choose a different font. And you can even change you know, the size of the font as well. So here, right now, we're using font 24. It might be a little tough for you guys to see the, um, you know, the numbering. But it's 24. And I'll increase it up to 36. And notice that the font has gotten a lot bigger. As well, we can also change you know, the coloring. So you have this A with that has a red underline. It might be a little challenging for you guys to see at home, but it's the letter A with the red underline. 
And you can select this and it will change it to red. But if you want to change it to another color, to the right of it is a drop down arrow. It's going to be pretty tough for you guys to see. So at home, you know, just follow along and um, you'll be able to, you'll see it on yours. And if you select the drop down arrow, notice we get this menu that has a lot of different colors. And you can select any of these colors that you wish and it will change your font for you. And as well, you have this more color option. And this will actually bring up a color picker for you. So you can even, you know, change it to a custom color if you wish using this. Um, I'm just going to get out of here. And so that was kind of using that, you know, the menu that appears as well, kind of in the first third of the title bar or of the um, ribbon, you'll notice that you have these same options there. So you can use this to change it. You don't actually have to use that, you know, the window that appears for you. So, you know, either way, you're doing the same thing. It doesn't matter what way you do it. it the end result is going to be the same. So whatever way you're comfortable with, feel free to do that. Um, you know, they both give you the same result. So that's great. If you can do one of them, if you can do both of them, even better. Um, so as well within our documents, we want to look at different alignment features that we have. So, you know, sometimes you might need to center a document. You might want to have it left aligned or even right aligned. And to do that, you know, again, I'm going to, you can put the cursor where you need, um, you know, in front of the text. And I just did this by clicking with my mouse. And then here, kind of in the middle of the screen, um, kind of to the left middle, we have our alignment. And it's under the, um, paragraph grouping. So you can see right here it says paragraph. And we have our alignment options right here. So we have align left, align center, and as well as right align. And then the next one is your justify. And we'll look at all of these and see how they operate a little um, differently. So to start with, we're actually using um, left alignment at this point. And if we actually go center alignment, so we just click on the center alignment option, notice that it moves everything and it's nicely centered in the, the page. And this you know, matters on the number of characters and everything that you have. Right alignment differs because it's going to push everything to the right margin. So notice it pushes it to the right and everything's right aligned. So the exclamation part is actually going to be all the way to the right edge of the page. So you can kind of see how your alignment works. Um, you know, get familiar with it. So left alignment is gonna be on the left side of your page. Center, it's gonna nicely center your items in that page for you. And then finally, right alignment is gonna be on the right margin of your page. So what does Justify do? This is kind of a different one um, for alignment purposes. So let's look at Justify and see how this one um, operates. So if we click on the justify option, notice it's kind of left aligned. Um, it's not really doing anything at this point, but you know it does provide us with different features um, as well later on. So we will look and you will see how this one you know changes. But right now, just realize it's kind of doing a left alignment. But it does, you know, as it says, uh, distributes your text evenly between the margins. Right now, we don't have enough text to fill it up between the left and right margin. So it's not going to do anything. But um, you know, when we have more text, we'll look at this as well, and you will see this feature. So finally, I want to show you actually the File tab. This is actually an important tab as well because of this is where you, know, you can save your documents. So you actually have Save. So you can save it. Or if you want to rename it, you could go Save As. And right below this, as well as Print. So this is where you're going to want to be able to you know, get comfortable with using as well. Um, this gives you a lot of information about your document as well. If you look on the right side, you see there's properties. So it tells you the pages, the number of words, um, you know, last time it was edited, who's the author. It gives you a lot of this information about your document. So kind of get familiar with this view. 
And then another great um, feature within this view that Office is able to do is actually export. So you can actually export your documents to PDFs. So this is a feature within Microsoft Office that we can use. So you know, this has been a quick little introduction into how Microsoft Office is laid out, the different tabs, the ribbon, um, different features, how to change our fonts, how to stylize our document a little bit, and how to do alignment. So you know, we'll kind of um, continue next session with a little more advanced features as well within Microsoft Office. So you know, thanks, and we'll see you next time.